What's going on everybody, D. Oliver TV back with another video and in today's video we'll be discussing the potential trade between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Detroit Pistons combo guard Corey Joseph. This article is the same article from the previous hypothetical trade scenario with Celtics Dennis Schroeder. But the headline reads exploring three potential Laker trades. So here are the potential Laker trade scenarios. He states that the Lakers would add two role players from the Detroit Pistons. The Lakers would get Corey Joseph, Josh Jackson, two second round picks. The Pistons would would acquire Taylor Horton Tucker. He goes on to say that the Lakers can't move Horton Tucker until mid-January because they re-signed the wing using their bird rights, but the former second round pick remains Los Angeles' best asset. He'd be a tremendous fit next to Kay Cunningham for the rebuilding process. This specific trade nets the Lakers two veteran rotational pieces to help build their depth. Joseph has been an underrated point guard since entering the league back in 2011. This season, he's averaging 6.6 .6 points per game and 3.4 assists on 44% shooting. At the very least, he's an upgrade over for John Rondo. As for Jackson, he's a solid wing at this stage in his career. He's coming off a 2020-2021 season that saw the former top four pick average 13.4 points per game and 4.1 rebounds. Adding two future second round picks also gives the Lakers some more assets moving forward. So if you guys would like to read the full article, the link is in the description box. You know, so I don't like this trade simply because it's like, what's the purpose? And that's not to discredit Corey Joseph you know he's a really great shooter former champion and brings that championship experience and will bring that championship experience to the lakers so he's familiar with what it's like to be at that stage he knows what it's like to be in that playoff and finals atmosphere and to tell you the truth i would love to have him on the lakers you know but i don't think this trade would be a fair exchange i think if the pistons were to include jeremy grant in the deal he would really improve the lakers defense because he's a really good on-ball defender also he's a respectable shooter if i'm the lakers I would make this trade in a heartbeat if they included Jeremy Grant in the deal. You know, but that would just be to please LeBron James. However, if I were the GM, I would tell LeBron James to kick rocks. I ain't making no deal. This is the roster that you wanted. Now make it work. <laughs> like the mama from on Friday told Smokey when he told her it wasn't enough. Which she responded and said, <laughs> make it enough. Make it enough. Okay, you got two options. Actually, you got three. Either you make the players around you better and turn THT into Scottie Pippen, tell Melo to drop that million dollar bag on his body like you do every year, and tell him turn back the clock, then you try to carry that Lakers team to the finals, or just be patient. Low manage like Kawhi Leonard, let Anthony Davis heal up, then try to sign a third star in free agency. Or if all else fails, demand a trade. Just demand a trade and use your media puppets and persuade your fans to force the Lakers front office to trade you, okay? But anyway, I don't like this trade for the simple fact that Jeremy Grant wouldn't be included in this deal, but I do think that Corey Joseph could be an asset to the Lakers. With that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.